Alright, what's up everybody? I'm gonna do this video on plugins because I was getting this question asked as far as what third-party plugins can we use? What are some that you use? So I'm gonna show you guys. So some of them are gonna be paid plugins, other ones are free. And then I'll make sure to link to all the ones that I use, whether you use a paid version or not. Sometimes free 99 is the best. So, might as well get into it. So with this beat right now, I'm using a plugin called Knock, which is from Decap. It's a, uh, it's like a saturator, clipper tool, compressor, like all in one. And it does a really good job. Um, Let's give you an example here. I'm gonna, turn, I'm gonna turn it off from here. With it on, brings a little bit more low end. Um, air brings up more of the high frequencies. Sub, you can actually add a sub bass tone. Saturator can add more saturation to it, which could sound pretty ridiculous. Like a low end boost. There as well. I believe it's $79. Um, it works great for drum processing. I guess I might as well just stick to these here okay so i guess i should mention how to even get to plugins is whenever you install one it's going to go to the plugin section right here go to plugins all and these are going to be all the plugins that scanned now if you move them or something was weird with the installation you're going to get this little arrow so with this one, this UAD one, I think I deleted it. So it saved on here, but I got to find the file to like completely get rid of it. If you want to group them together, you can click this little section here. Get them all out of your way. Because that probably freaks people out seeing that. So I'll hold shift, click, control, delete. Get rid of those. And you get these here as well. Not the way. Just for right now. So you can make a crate and put in any plugin you want. So you hit the crate button here, go to all, and you can throw in a plugin in there. Name it what you want. You're good there. I tape, uh, I have one called favorite plugins. So obviously that's one that I tend to go to. So Serato sample within Serato, you can load your sample files in here, chop them up and do as you please. So it's kind of like on some inception Serato sample inside Serato studio. That one there, fresh air. I'll put it on here. What it tends to do is bring up a lot of the mid and high frequencies of whatever sample you're running it through. So sometimes I'll use it to try to bring up a bit more of the mids and high frequencies if need be. Another one I'll use is Arcade. It's like a sampler built in here. So these are its sample libraries. So what I would do is I would pick, say this one, and then go to whichever sample I wanna use, load it up on my keyboard, or it's already loaded.
Now the trick on this one is you got to take playing key off here, then match the key D sharp minor near the bottom, D sharp minor. And then it has like four little main modulators. So just some things. And then you record in the, the MIDI note over here. So, and then Cthulhu doesn't quite work yet in Serato. It's a MIDI based, um, chord generator, camera crusher for some reason on here. The interface doesn't work, um, but it's another kind of distortion compressor plugin. On Windows, you'll definitely see the user interface, um, but that's a free one. Valhalla Supermassive is a reverb plugin. You come up with crazy supermassive reverbs. And it's free. It's a free one. I'll try different presets real quick. And then Ozo 9 Elements is one that kind of gives you some uh, like basic mastering tools. And it's actually free with Serato. Um, if you go to Ozone Elements Serato Studio, I believe you can still do get the download for this. I purchased the full Ozone 9. So that one was, I think, about 500. But it gives you a lot more options. But not that you need it. But this is a really good starting point for sure. And then we have OTT. The way this works is... It stands for over the top compressor. You have your high, mid, and low frequencies. This brings up your high frequencies. This is your depth. It can get to a ridiculous level. So we turn them all the way down. You don't really hear the mids and highs of the drum track. Bring that up. Bring that up. Again, this is free from uh, Expert Records. This one as well, called Dimension Expander. It's like a widening plugin that you can use. Kind of gives you like stereo width. Again, adjust the taste on and off. Then we have one called Valhalla Space Modulator. As the name proceeds itself, it tries to modulate and add reverb to the sound that you're doing. Let's go through some crazy presets. And I know a question people ask are like, can you even automate these plugins? You can, it can be a little tricky. I know that digitary is still going. You have to go to volume, go to, oh no, I know where I messed up. I'm on a single note, there we go. Now I gotta go to the whole kit right here, click on that. Now I can click on this drop down menu. Now it'll tell you, it's right there. So with this one, I'm gonna adjust the feedback of the plugin just for that time. Go from here and then go up. Watch this, see how this is moving right here? So say I wanna do it the other way, move that point up, move that down. Again, same thing if you're using this view right here. It's just, I prefer this way. So again, you can um, automate third-party plugins. I think there was a question before where like, there's no way I can do it. You can. The only tough thing is you have to remember what you're trying to adjust. 
Um, right here, it's not as bad because you have four, five, six, seven options. It gets trickier when you're introducing synths with a lot of different parameters because you have to find the parameter and adjust for that. So from here, we have vocal doubler. It's a free one as well. Just doubles, whichever sound you're running through it. The variation sense here. Dry wet right here. And we have Valhalla frequency echo. Get another thing to mess with frequencies of whatever you're running it through. Some of the crazy stuff from that. Sausage Fattener works a lot like Knock. Funny plugin. But it'll, uh, it's almost like a, a comp it's a compressor, um, also a multi band with this color knob. Helps bring up those frequencies there. Saturator. Angry, angry sausage there. Brr. So there's that. Serum is a VST, as far as like a synth. Usually it'll give me a tone, not giving me one. Let me see here. Sorry for the baby in the background. Oh, because I soloed it, that's why, okay. I know some people are figuring out or trying to figure out like how do I record this? Simple. Find the sound that you like, then hit record. And now it has it recorded in the notes right there. Same thing with arcade. You just when you hit record, input the MIDI up there so then already went through arcade i use um nectar three for vocals um let me add let me try to add a vocal track real quick here oh acapella or you know let me find something that, that i guess won't flag me um let's do vocal let's I just want the, you. the baby that's in the background um I want you I want you I'll probably do it without the drums. So here we go back to nectar three. Put that in there. I want you So this is a paid one. I believe it's uh I think mm, four hundred so a lot of these ones that are a little bit higher priced actually go through Splice. They have a paid to own program where I'll pay maybe, I believe this one was like was 15 a month to use it. So with this one, I can just add different presets. I want you. I can really, you. really mess with it. Oops, let me just go here, solo this, you can hear what's going on. I want you. You. I want you. You can really get some good, yeah. I want you. Really mangle it up, but um, works really well for vocals as far as just like a processing chain for it. Breath control. I think I have it on a demo. I want you. 
It'll try to bring down any breaths that it hears to try to bring them down if you want to. Don't really use it that often. Um, origin, I'll put it on the sample deck. That's with free one. I'm going to throw that in here. I'm going to take these off. Put this in there. Okay, let's see here. So you can make it sound like a really gritty sample. And then... Let's move these knobs here. Like adjust the frequency on there. Really nice, really nice plugin if you're trying to kind of OG your sample, make it a little bit more vintage sounding, like it's running through old record player. Um, wider is another stereo widening plugin, free. So right now we have it straight stereo. And the wider knob. You tend to hear it spread out more across your headphones. Vinyl, so we'll emulate a vinyl type of sound. Um, I have it as a demo. You can use it only a little bit, but you guys want to know what some stuff I have. So it basically just adds vinyl <laughs> to your track. Too much of a scratchy record. Kind of self-explanatory on that one. There we go. Fracture. Really can mingle up your track. This one I believe is free as well. Some can sound pretty ridiculous. Again, my main thing is just if something inspires me out of it, then I'll go in and start tweaking the settings because by no means am I a, a genius of any sorts as far as exactly what everything does on here. But if it sounds good, I'm going to mess with it. This is more for like a sound design type of plugin if you're going for that. Serum effects is the effects that it's its own additional plugin to Serum. Serum is the synth. Serum effects runs the effect chain of whatever particular um, preset you have. I can, I can run that through. This was like a kind of pad synth, but it had all these effects applied. Now I can just run it as an effects uh, processor. So I've, come, I've used this quite a bit um, to just see what other sounds I can get using the preset effects laid out on here on this kind of rack space here. Really went over knock, half time. This was a paid one. Kind of like gross beat for FL users. Um, it'll basically half your sample. Usually for a more slow down type of sound. You can adjust how quickly it does it. You can get it to a, ridic a ridiculous level from a company called Cable Guys. Kickstart is a sidechain plugin. So it's the ducket, which I see that it's not quite doing that. I think it's probably because I'm running Kickstart 2, which I'll get to that in a second. Which I'll do that right now. I'll go to kickstart two. Let's see here. I got a crying baby down there. Right here. Here we go. It's 
this is like the updated version of Kickstart. So you can see this is where the ducking is happening, which you can do in Serato Sidechain. But again, we're talking about third party plugins here. You adjust the length of the note, eighth note, the type of slope. You can make it sound weird and all of that. Okay. Then another one I have is called UVI Workstation on here. So with this one, it's like a drum plugin that I use. Sometimes I want to get a more realistic, just straight drum kit on here. So what I would do, I have it laid out like this. So and I can adjust like each sound of the snare symbol. Just if I want to have a just a fresh, you know, drum kit like that that I can play. Then I have addictive keys here. Really good piano. If you just, I just want a just a classic piano on here as well. Okay, put that there. Gonna give you an audio preview of it. Let me go back to my instruments here. Okay. I meant to go here. Get this on this end here. Sorry about that, guys. There we go. Grand piano there. Just want a classic upright piano. So let me just delete this as well. Put an arcade. Keep that in there. Serum as well. There we go. Okay. I use this other plugin called, it's called Wow. Definitely make another type of, really mangle up everything. Again, more for just sound design purposes. And let me see here. These are just extras from Ozo 9, which are the ones I use quite a bit. Um, have contact, don't really use it as much. Um, Labs is a free sampler engine from Spitfire. And they have like pianos, keys, synths, guitars, vocals, woodwind. If I want to add like an orchestra, let's load that. I'm trying to get something like that. Um, then we have OBXD, which is a analog synthesizer. Get those retro funky sounds, free as well. Filter, or it's Tau Filter, is a filter plugin. Whoops, put that there. Put this here. Put this right there. I'm gonna turn that off. You can really high pass, low pass filter, adjust how you want to do your filtering here. Come up with really cool filter effects. Tau Chorus, just what it is, a chorus plugin. Some of the cool kind of textures from there. Let's see here, Gorilla Bass. I've been using this quite a bit for drum and bass productions. This again gives you a really gritty bass tone. You need the amen break over that, and you're good. Totally free. Ruana or Ruina um, ruins the, the sound. It can make it sound ridiculous. But... 
Whoops. That was ridiculous. <laughs> I'll run it through a free software. Yeah, it can get ridiculous with that. But if you run it through like a just like a sine wave or something, you can come up with some crazy like dubby sounds or just aggressive tones from that. So already went through Ozo 9. The orchestra is another one from Spitfire. I'll load this one up here as well. So this one will give you, if I get the, hit the right note. Oh, I have soloed it. My apologies. There we go. Bam. Okay. So you pick almost as like a chamber and you pick your instrument. We want a flute, percussion, tune percussion, trumpets. Get it. If you just need like an orchestral sound, you can go with that. Um, I have scalar here, which works as, let's see here. Can help you build scales or chords, I mean. And I have a, a preset that I can, with one note, yeah, one note, you can get chord progressions. It has different instruments in here as well. Really good plugin. Then we have, let me delete this. Gorilla bass, there we go. And then we have pocket dimension. This one can be a little wild. So let me throw it into here. Probably like, oh snap. Okay, this is pretty crazy. So, Basically, you move this, and it'll start to really morph the sound over here. Crazy. <laughs> you let it go. <laughs> it goes back. Now, I found when I'm trying to automate this, like I was trying to figure out what the button press option is so if you do have this and you ran into problems what you have to change is the i believe it's the inner portal so now we're going to find out if i know what i'm talking about this moves that nope oh yeah it does it does I'm tripping yep so you have to trigger inner portal to actually get this to, to move. And then you have to select X, Y, as far as like where you want it to move. So it's an example here, here, that's the X. And then we'll move the Y right here. Boom, 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 boom. I can see a lot moving around and Enter portal, bring this up. Yeah, very interesting, that one. And we have red, red base. This helps add low tone to whatever you run it through. So say, like right now we didn't have it before. Turn it off, turn it back on. So yes, if you want to have a bass added to your sound, you can add that. Prisma, you can add effects to specific frequencies. You would click here. And that specific frequency, you'll hear change to that low end. Made a bit crush on the lower end frequency.
and then let's do sign fold here. So again, this one, a totally free plugin. You can always turn that down, turn that down as well. That's it on that. Then we have doubler, another du um, double plugin. Totally free. We have one called Goyo. So this is if you want to actually take reverb out of a sample. Um, I think I have some on here. I thought it was going to be kind of weird. I'll make take Ruin off. So let me actually try to add a bunch of reverb to this and then see if this takes it off, which I know is kind of counterintuitive. We'll see if this will work. So it's trying to take the ambience away. Obviously because everything has ambience, it's all gonna go away. And it's kind of finding each other on there. Let me see here. Usually it works better with a vocal. If you just have a vocal and you're trying to get rid of some of the reverb in the vocal, you would use this for that. Then we have dumpster fire. This can really mangle up, really mangle up a sample. Do I know exactly what it's doing? No, but I know it's taking it to a whole other dimension when I have that. Um, then we have Vital. This seems like a lot of plugins now <laughs> when I'm realizing it, but a lot of them are free. Um, Vital is a free plugin as well. Um, it's just tools. You know, you don't always use a specific crescent wrench, but you got it and you use it. Oh, yeah. Always got to remember to unsolo some things. There we go. Same thing here. Almost works. It's like a free version of Serum. Um, there are presets that you um, that are paid for, but even within what it has, it works really well. And it has its effects section here. Do whatever you want to do there. So there's that one there. We have one called Ample Bass Light, which is a bass guitar plugin. So you want to get your Seinfeld bass. Totally free. So yeah, those are pretty much a lot of the plugins that I use. Um, I know there's one that people ask for EQ that I should have went through. Um, this one's called M Dynamic EQ from Melda Production. I believe they still have it free. I'm not sure. But if you're just needing a, an EQ that doesn't take up a lot of CPU, this one works really well. You just click on the section that you want to double click. Bring the track in. Or move the, the curve around right here. If you right click. You can pick what type of curve you want to have. So I go peak, mix it out. Now I can just use this to boost or lower frequencies. Works really well. If I want to fine tune the curve, just pull on the little arrows on the side, or the little tabs on the side. So if you're trying to get rid of certain resonances, you can do that. At the time, it was a free one. Um, it's from Melda Productions. I believe they still have it free, but if not, um, I think it's it's not a lot, but it works really well. So yeah, and that's a lot of what I what I use, man. Is that again? I'm gonna put the links to these at the bottom. And if you have any questions on them, feel free to let me know. I just 
I know I kind of flew by some of them, but just want to give you guys a heads up on the ones I use because you guys asked me. So with that, you guys have an awesome day. Peace.